A rigorous study points to the benefits of a Mediterranean diet. I'm David Gillen for The New York Times. Gina Colada has been following the story, and she joins me now in the newsroom. Hey, Gina, thanks Hi, for coming David. in. Good to be so here. the broad outlines of these findings seem to confirm what a lot of us have been hearing for a long time, a Mediterranean diet rich in you know, olive oil and nuts and beans and fish and vegetables and fruit. It's good for us, maybe a little wine too. Um, but it's the magnitude of, of the benefits that seem to have startled some experts. What, why is this all so significant? It's kind of amazing because these are people who were at high risk for heart disease and they were taking drugs like statins that lower your cholesterol. Yeah. So you say, well, how much more benefit are you going to get mm -hmm. by just changing your diet? And they got a benefit, a 30% reduction wow. in the things you care about, heart attacks, strokes, and deaths from heart disease. And that was as big a benefit as you would get if you had high cholesterol and took a statin, right. which was astonishing. I mean, it's like a drug effect. And what they did was they went on this diet. Mm -hmm. And this was in the New England Journal of Medicine out That's today. Right. That's right. Okay. You were telling me, though, that a lot of this is um, uh, the diet. It's not as easy as you think. Yeah, it's very <laughs> funny because we all think we have, oh, we have such a good diet. Right. And before the study started, they had the people fill out a questionnaire mm -hmm. telling what they were eating and what their diet was. And we're actually going to have that on the web. Mm -hmm. And I tried it, and I said, oh, I have such a great diet. I was just where they were when the study started. I was at the same level. I wasn't really, I wasn't eating a Mediterranean diet, although okay. I, I have olive oil and fruits and vegetables. Yeah. It wasn't enough. This diet is kind of unusual. And if you think you're eating a healthy diet, you probably, you probably are, but I bet you aren't doing what they say. Well, you were telling me that I was amazed. You were saying, like, like eat all the almonds you right. want. All eat the all nuts. the olive oil you want. Right. And, I'm thinking, and I said to you, well, wait a minute. I'm yeah. going to like pack it on even more weight than I'm already packing on. But, but They said all the nuts you want except at meals because it's so filling. Hmm. And okay. they said that they looked at studies and, they didn't, and people who ate all the nuts they wanted and just poured on the olive oil, wow. they didn't gain weight. And they think it's because these things are so filling. In fact, that's why they said don't have nuts at meals any other time. You can eat them all day. Okay. All the what they call black chocolate, which I think is dark chocolate. Right, dark, really yeah. heavy, high in the cocoa well, or yeah, whatever. Yeah. At least 50% cocoa, all you want. Wow. All you want. <laughs> it sounds like a dream diet. <laughs> it sounds like a dream diet. It was weird. Look, there, um, this is lit up, nytimes.com. I think we have, at, at this hour, we have almost more than 300 comments or so from readers. And one thing that I noticed was that people were kind of critical of the U.S. for only sort of catching on to this now and only having this formal study now, and they're wondering why we haven't done a study like this it's before. It's really hard. People thought it was almost impossible. In fact, one person who was a former president of the Heart Association mm -hmm. congratulated them on doing a study that's almost impossible to do. Because just think about it. You take about 7,000 people and you say, for years, you're going to eat what I tell you to eat. Right, sure. Most I of us would say, that. I don't want to be in that study. I like what I'm eating now, or I think I'm eating a great diet. Why would I want to right. be in your study? Right. So they actually managed to get these people to do the, the well, the low fat people had a lot of trouble. And if you saw what they were supposed to eat, you would have a lot of trouble okay, too. You, I like think. what were they? Like, they were supposed like to nothing. Space, yeah, like nothing. <laughs> like lettuce. <laughs> yeah, like the kind of <laughs> okay. things that are very hard for people to sustain. <laughs> All right. But the people on the Mediterranean diet, they actually. We're measuring um, the chemicals in their blood or mm -hmm. in urine that were showing whether how much, or they're actually eating the nuts and the oils, and they were they mm -hmm. were counseling them and stuff. And these people actually did it. They actually changed their diets and stayed with it. Okay. And they say, oh, this is such a good diet. But when you think about it, you're supposed to have fish three times a week. At least one is a fatty right. fish like salmon. Right. And my husband said, well, you know, who's going to go out and buy this fish? I said, well, we could have like canned mackerel. He said. No. <laughs> I don't want that. Exactly. You eat legumes three times a week. All right. The, the, the other thing that came up in these comments was whether all these foods, you know, olive oil, nuts, fish, vegetables, are good, or whether, particularly here, they're they're actually just replacing something that's bad. Well, that's a really good question, and nobody knows because this okay. whole thing is sort of black magic. It's like they took a diet that people used to eat mm -hmm. in the old days before yeah. they had processed foods and stuff, and they said they had less heart disease then, and they said, well, just take that diet, and that's what you'll eat. Mm -hmm. So they don't know which component is really great and which one is just sort of replacing something. Do you really have to eat legumes three times a week? Who knows? Do you really? Right. One of the things that also was interesting, you're supposed to make a tomato sauce. And you're supposed to you make simmer, your own. make your own, simmer tomatoes slowly in lots of olive oil, of course, with garlic and onions. And then you're supposed to use that at least twice a week on 
pasta, rice, or vegetables. Now, is that important? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But okay. they have it in there. Is there anything else, I mean, for all these people out here who are watching this yeah. now, and because we've been reading a lot about the Mediterranean diet, as I said, for a long time. Right. Is there anything that came out of this study that's like, okay, this is like the two or three things I just, I need to adjust in my, in my diet? They say it's the package. And if you're really curious, you'll see we have for tomorrow's paper, we have something telling you what you have to eat. And we have the quiz so you can see how well you're doing. And you might be surprised because, like me, you might think, oh, I have such a great diet. And it's not, Turns out. not the Mediterranean <laughs> diet. It might be good. It's not Mediterranean. Got it. Gina, thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you. That's all for now. I'm David Gillen for The New York Times.